Not again. <sighs> Looks like Zack Snyder hasn't abused us enough. We've got part two of Rebel Moon. This one's called The Scar Giver. One thing I will say is I'm getting heavy duty Disney Star Wars vibes. I'm getting that Kylo Ren thing. And sometimes when we turn, the honesty is too much. One could say it is an homage to John Wick. But somebody obviously was a fan of the movie Old Boy. Whoa, wait a minute. Was that some really terrible fight choreography? Let's watch that again. Did you see that lightsaber swing? It was about two feet away from her. <laughs> this is like watching Wheel of Time. It's that bad. Bruh. I'm not sure how a director like Zack Snyder can actually take a Disney Star Wars and make it worse than Disney Star Wars, but here we are. Their nightmare is you and I fighting. Wow, well, this is late. Well, my nightmare was having to watch Rebel Moon in the first place. Virtually everyone that I work with on YouTube and friends in the IRL, none of them liked it. Together. You must know. You cannot win. Obviously, I watched this start to finish, didn't break it up into little transformative segments, but all I got was bland, generic nothing. We are back at the Viking village, the multicultural Viking village where they use things that look like oxes and wear overalls. And yet <laughs> there are giant spaceships in the sky full of space Nazis. You're all here. Because there is nothing to return to. In this particular case, this Viking village reminds me of... What is going on? A time when civilization was less civilized. Throw down your weapons or we kill the children. Dark days. I feel nothing at all. I never want to hear anybody ever say that Salty doesn't have a heart. Lie ahead of us all. We will teach you how to fight. In my opinion, somebody ripped off the Urukai birthing process. That's impressive. Well, that was a whole lot of female empowerment. Did you see that one chick beating the living shit out of that literal straw man with a sword? That's impressive. Ray Skywalker. Ah! No! The scar gave us a monk. Bruh. This is Zack Snyder. Those this village holds most dear. I should destroy them. Where have I seen this before? Eastern European bad guy with that Eastern European accent saying, I'm going to destroy them. I should destroy them. I must break you. Destroy them. Break you. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. At least this time, Zack Snyder appears to be ripping himself off. I'm referring, of course, to the movie Sucker. I have no choice but to fight. Okay. 
I mean, what the hell? What the hell is any of this, Zach? It's really obvious Zack Snyder thinks he can make Star Wars better than Disney Star Wars. The problem is, is that, again, he's making Disney Star Wars even worse than Disney makes Star Wars. How the hell do you do that? That fight choreography was garbage. You think I'm kidding? Let's slow it down. Let's take a look. He's making Disney Star Wars even worse than Disney makes Star Wars. This gotta give her herself. Go, 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 go! Are you truly prepared? Says hitting that ESG sweet spot for that representation. It's funny you say that. To allow this to continue in your name. Yeah, I got die hard out of that in a big, big way. That must just be a uh, coincidence, right? I'm sorry. I won't allow this place to die for me. It's so dumb. Oh, it's so dumb, it's brilliant. No! It's just dumb. Let's look at some of the slow-mo from this trailer. I have only one question. At Netflix, when you committed all of this money to Zack Snyder, did anybody read the script? And if they did... Why? 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 Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon Part 2, The Scar Giver, comes out April 11th, now with even more slow motion and gender ambiguity what do you think i'll put the link to the actual trailer without my yammering on so you can look at it unmolested by your man salty you have a good one